Welcome back everybody to an episode of Tech TLDR today. We have a lot of great news regarding the space industry, regarding SpaceX. SpaceX has officially secured a contract with NASA for the Artemis program. We're going to talk about that. SpaceX's next mission to the ISS coming in just a few days. NASA's Ingenuity helicopter finally taking flight. And of course, we have Starship SN15 news. If you want to know everything, be sure to stick to the entire episode. Drop a like on the video as always to stay on the YouTube's space side of their algorithm. Let's get into this video. So first up, SpaceX, they've officially secured the contract with NASA using the Starship to land the first astronauts back onto the moon since the 1970s in the NASA's Artemis program. Now, there are other companies trying to get the contract for this. Blue Origin was one of them. And it's looking like Blue Origin's gonna have to find other sources of income now because this is a big hit to their future. SpaceX, they took the cake on this one and they got the tune about 2.9 billion US dollars. Now, the Artemis program, the moon landing, is not going to happen for a few more years, but that's a relatively short amount of time when you think about how space works, how our space programs have been developing. That's really not that long, and it's going to come a lot quicker than you realize. SpaceX also has some things going on later this week. Right here, you can see the Falcon 9 and Dragon standing upright in the vertical launch, and this is for later this week. They're going to be launching four astronauts to the ISS, and this is going to be the first time space flight is done on a flight proven falcon 9 and dragon and what does that mean flight proven they've already put people in the space on the falcon 9 what does that mean they're reusing these components and these boosters to do another flight this hasn't happened before it's always been on brand new equipment according from spacex and so this is gonna be the first time they're reusing it and it shows how far that spacex is you know their whole business has come they wanted to be able to reuse and repeat launches with the same equipment and now here they are doing that just later this week. In fact, the crew has already done rehearsals, fully dressed and getting into the capsule and things like that. They've done a static fire test of this booster and they're targeting this Thursday, April 22nd at around 6.11 Eastern Daylight Time, 6.11 a.m., I'm sorry, Eastern Daylight Time or Eastern Standard Time, however you wanna call it, for the launch of this mission. And again, putting four astronauts onto the ISS for roughly six months. Exciting stuff coming from SpaceX. And speaking of SpaceX and the Starship, let's get into the Starship news. So last or later, in the end of last week, these three Raptor engines were brought to the Starship, the SN15, to be installed. And they were successfully installed as of yesterday. All three have been in there. If we look, we can see this came from Lab Padre stream and video that all engines are now inside of the SN15. So this Starship is ready to rock and roll. We need to see a static fire coming hopefully very soon. I have the dates for that for you guys. There was presumably going to be a static fire of the Starship today. SpaceX didn't do that. They did something else. We'll talk about that next. But let's look at when Starship may actually do a static fire. So we look on the closures in that area. We can see today they had one from 12 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. And there was actually a longer one that ended up getting canceled. People thought that was going to be the static fire. It's not the case. If we look, though, Tuesday... April 20th, tomorrow, 420. Something tells me Elon Musk and SpaceX, they're probably going to do something big on that day, which would be a static fire of the Starship. They have the closer from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. And if it doesn't go on that day, they do have the backup date of Wednesday, April 21st, the same time frame to do the static fire testing. And so what was that closer for today then if it wasn't for a static fire test? So Mary Bogachikigal tweeted this photo of the GS2 tank, the ground support equipment 2 tank, moving to the launch site. Now, this, as small as it may seem, what's the big deal of a ground support tank going to the launch site? It just, it's one less thing SpaceX has to do. And because of that, when we see closures in the future, it's much more likely that it'll be for actual Starship testing as opposed to getting equipment out to the launch site. And the more equipment that they have to launch site, the more effective we can have static fires, we can have launches, we can get these going much quicker. Not we, but SpaceX can get these a lot quicker and it'll be a much more efficient process. So as small as it may seem, it really is another accomplishment in the road of getting constant space light with these Starships. And now, in my opinion, really the biggest story of today, the Ingenuity NASA's Mars helicopter finally took flight today. And it came at kind of a surprise. We thought it was going to be later in the week, but no, at around 3.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time today, NASA went ahead and did the first flight of the NASA Ingenuity helicopter, and it actually went 
about 10 feet in the air and stayed airborne for roughly 40 seconds. That's the first time humans have ever flown something on another planet. That's really exciting. I think it's really cool to see and it gives us insight as to what humans can do on other planets, what equipment will work, how to fly. And this is just the first flight. They're going to be doing multiple flights of this Ingenuity in the future. And if you look right here on this GIF, this came from the Perseverance's uh, camera. This was the first instance that they could confirm that the Ingenuity actually took flight. This was the confirming data before Ingenuity was actually able to send its own data back to Earth. You guys let me know in the comments if you actually watched this and what you think about this because I'm curious too. And that's all I have for you guys in today's episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you want more of this content. Be sure to have a good one.